Hi kids. Today we're going to read Psalm 103 as part of our Easter celebration. Even though this psalm was written more than 1,000 years before Jesus was on earth, it will help us understand why we celebrate Easter. So let's get started. I will praise the Lord. Deep down inside me, I will praise him. I will praise him because his name is holy. I will praise the Lord. I won't forget anything he does for me. He forgives all my sins. He heals my sicknesses. He saves my life from going down into the grave. His faithful and tender love makes me feel like a king. He satisfies me with the good things I desire. Then I feel young and strong again, just like an eagle. The Lord does what is right and fair for all who are treated badly. He told Moses about all his plans. He let the people of Israel see his mighty acts. The Lord is tender and kind. He is gracious. He is slow to get angry. He is full of love. He won't keep bringing charges against us. He won't stay angry with us forever. He doesn't punish us for our sins as much as we should be punished. He doesn't pay us back for keeping with the evil things we've done. He loves those who have respect for him. His love is as high as the heavens are above the earth. He has removed our sins from us. He has removed them as far as the east is from the west. A father is tender and kind to his children. In the same way, the Lord is tender and kind to those who have respect for him. In the verses we read, the psalmist lists many reasons to praise God. He says that God loves us, he heals us, and he does what is right and fair. But the best thing that the psalmist said, and the reason we celebrate Easter, is that God forgives our sins. When Jesus died for us, he made it possible for our sins to be taken away from us. What does it mean that God takes away our sin? Has someone ever taken something from you? Maybe your sister took your toy and then showed you that she had it. Maybe she teased you and reminded you that she had taken it. That's not what happens when God takes away our sins. In verse 12, we read that God has removed our sin as far as the east is from the west. When God takes away our sin, he takes it so far away that we never see it again. It is gone forever. That is something that we can celebrate and it is something to thank God for. If you have never asked God to forgive you of your sin, you have the opportunity right now. If you have asked God before to forgive you, I encourage you to pray with me also and ask God to forgive you of anything you've done recently that you need forgiveness from. Parents, we invite you to do the same. Jesus, I know that you made me and want me to obey you with all my heart. I know I have disobeyed you. I have thought and done things against your directions. I have not always done what you asked me to do. I am sorry. I know that you died to save me from these sins. I accept your promises and ask you to please save me now and forever. Amen.